We are talking with actor Mike McLean. I wanted to ask you, Mike, first, where are you from? Actor. I'm originally from Southern California, okay. and I live in New York City now. Uh, but right now, I am living, uh, you know, out of hotels and Airbnbs and tour buses and theaters and living the dream. Yeah, you're on the road, the glamorous life of a, uh, a touring actor. The Sound of Music in Kalamazoo this weekend at uh, Miller Auditorium. Now, you play uh, the, the captain in this one. I sure do. It is uh, the role of a lifetime, man. I, you know, I used to think that uh, playing Sky Masterson in Guys and Dolls was all I ever wanted to do with my life. Okay. Uh, until I got to play the captain, and it is just a dream come true for an actor. I mean, uh, it's a wonderful story, first of all, you know, um, and it's an iconic story that everybody loves and thinks they know. But uh, getting to really dive into it has been just such an amazing experience. Uh, you know, the captain it goes through this huge change, obviously, it starts out such a, like a hurt uh you know, wounded individual who can't be at home around his family because his children remind him of his late wife. I mean, it's just this heartbreaking uh, beginning to this character. And then by the end, you know, he's rediscovered his love for his children. He's rediscovered his passion for music. And he's found all of that through Maria, who has just, you know, created this spark that's turned into a fire, which is his new love for his family and this, this new way of life. And then also, there's the political side of the story where, you know, it, this is 1938 Austria, and the Germans are coming, and we need to make some decisions about who we want to side with. So it's, it's a meaty story. You know, it's a meaty character, and it's just a real pleasure to get to tell that story every night. You know, Mike, I'd, I'd forgotten, really, a lot of that story. All I remember from The Sound of Music is Julie Andrews twirling around, and then yes. my, my mother <laughs> singing, The Hills Are Alive. Because she yeah, did it absolutely. every time it was on TV. Well, that's, I think everybody has a little bit of a, a sense of that. Of, you know, I, oh, I remember the singing kids, and I think there's some nuns, and uh, the, the hills. There's some mountains, and yeah. we're in Austria. I and think. a female uh, deer, you know. right? <laughs> but there's, there's a real thick, juicy story there that uh, we're going to bring to everybody in Kalamazoo this weekend. Yeah, and this is a show that had its origins. It started out as a play. People remember the beloved TV show and maybe the remake recently, but it started out on the stage, and that's where it's maybe performed best? I think so. I mean, there's nothing like live theater. It's a shared experience that, you know, every night is new and different. And once the show is over, we never get that one back. So there's something really special about that. Of You know, we're there sharing it with you. And uh, it's just for the people in that room right now. Talking with actor Mike McLean, who has done, uh, you've done Guys and Dolls, you've done a lot of theater. And uh, also, I'm looking at your resume, Mike, a couple of TV commercials as well. Now, what's the, <laughs> what's the difference there? I mean, are you hoping to do more uh, uh, jumping into TV, or is live theater your thing? I mean, live theater is, is a passion, and some might even say an addiction, <laughs> because out of the you know, TV, film, and uh, theater. Theater tends to probably pay the least of all the mediums, but as an actor, it's, it's the truest form because there's no do-overs. You know, we start at the beginning, and you just got to keep moving. And if a light doesn't turn on or someone drops a line or costume malfunction, well, just deal with it. That sounds uh, a lot like live radio, except <laughs> I, I do this yeah. all by myself. <laughs> yes, live anything. You just... You just go with it. No, I have done a couple commercials, and they, they were fun. You know, it's a great experience, and I, of course, would love to just do everything. But, uh, but live theater is the purest form of the, of the medium, you know. Good. Now, can you tell us anything about the rest of the cast? Who should we look for in this one? Well, uh, the showstopper every night is our uh, Lauren Kidwell, who plays Mother Abbess. She has a voice that will just break every window in the house, and you'll thank her for it. I mean, she's just got a really powerful, beautiful soprano voice, and she sings Climb Every Mountain, and there will not be a dry eye in the house. Um, and then, of course, our Maria, Jill Christine Wiley, does all the work. I mean, she just is on stage the whole time with the kids, doing everything, and she's something really special. She brings a, an innocence to the, the character that... Uh, well, just melt your heart. And then, of course, the kids. You know, they're so fun. 
our, our, our youngest one, the girl who plays Gretel, as soon as she's on stage, the whole place just melts. You can just audibly hear the, ah, as soon as she comes out. So it's, it's a lot of fun. There's something for everybody. Uh, and you got to come check it out. Well, terrific. We're looking forward to seeing you at Miller Auditorium this weekend. Mike McLean as Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. Mike, thanks for spending some time with us today. Yeah, absolutely, man. It was good talking to you.